Today I'm going to be doing a reading looking at whether the person on your mind has really moved on from their connection with you. So we've got three piles to choose from. The first pile is going to be the Tarot of Dreams and it's paired with a piece of Tiger's Eye. So here's the Tiger's Eye, very reflective. Hopefully that's showing up on the camera. But that's um, a beautiful deck there and I just felt like they were a nice pair. Kind of blends in, doesn't it? Okay, the second deck here is the Thelema Tarot and that is with a piece of selenite. And the third deck, I can never remember the name of this crystal. I have it in my head the minute before I sit down and then I forget it. It's not rose quartz, but I'll try and list it in the description. But this beautiful pink stone with the superlinaris tarot. So we'll have pile one will be the tiger's eye with the Tower of Dreams. Pile two is the Selenite with the Thelema. Pile three is the Pink Stone with the Superlinaris Tarot. And you can choose with the crystals, the card backs, the card pile numbers, whatever you like. And I'll timestamp each pile and see you there. Okay, part one, you chose the tiger's eye. Let's pop it over here. Put your oracle cards to the top. And as I was shuffling, I was being called to do a Celtic cross. I was originally going to lay the cards out, but then um, I felt 10 cards. And for me, that means Celtic cross. So let's go here. We've got in the center, the magician. The four of coins. The Nine of Cups, and hopefully these are all fitting on the table for those that like to see them. The King of Coins, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Page of Coins, the Star, and the World. Okay. All right. Pile one, the first thing that I'm feeling with this central cross here, with this magician and this a four of coins crossing it, is that you were dealing with somebody, whether this actually turned into a connection or not, you were dealing with somebody who was making their interest in you very known. If you were in a connection with them, they were putting in the effort here because the magician is about um, manifesting what we want. It's about making things happen. It's about bringing our um, inspiration into you know the material realm and I feel that this was someone who may have even guided the connection they may have initiated the connection for many of you and they were someone who really seemed to know what they want however on the top here we have the four of coins crossing it and for me, that's saying that this person went from someone who was very much all in to someone who was holding back. And I do recognize that with this, th these readings being about whether someone has moved on, that most people will be either, you know, in some sort of no contact situation or something didn't turn out. But I don't feel this was a slow fade for most of you. I feel that this person, you saw a definite shift in them from being someone who is very forthcoming, very inspired to make this connection happen to someone who was holding back and maybe you even felt a little bit shut out of their life for some of you. So let's just keep moving through. I am feeling, um, you know, quite heavy earth energy just as I'm looking across this central bit here and magician can sometimes represent Virgo energy doesn't mean they have to be but um, there could be some earth energy coming through with this person too and you know I also feel with the king of coins in the position of recent past and remember gender's um, not important here but with this king of coins this is somebody who is very stable who very much knows what they want and is very settled and often this person has very traditional values as well so you know I feel like when you were connecting with this person when things were in a let's say a better place with this person or a place where you 
thought that things were going to, you could see where things were heading, that they appeared to be more predictable and more able to be able to recognise what they would want or how they were thinking. When I come across here to this, um, these cards here, the this is uh, often referred to as the subconscious or the conscious or the base and crowning cards, I feel like there could have been a big shift with them um, in terms not only of them holding back but also in terms of the sort of things that were important to them and the priorities that they were showing in their life. Now, for some of you, you might have felt that this person really put themselves as a priority and I know that it's important in a connection that we don't lose that um, sense of self and, you know, we are important, it's important that we keep ourselves, uh, recognise what our needs are and stuff like that. But when I say putting their own self as a priority, I mean maybe putting just having, uh, putting aside any commitments that they'd made to you or any empathy for your position or your feelings and focusing solely on what felt good in the moment. I would not be surprised if we get the devil card out at some stage as I'm clarifying here because I'm feeling a little bit of that energy with the nine of cups and the page of wands in these particular positions. I mean it doesn't have to be but I'm feeling that there is certainly some of you that were dealing with someone who decided that maybe the single life could be worked into this couple situation you know wanting the best of both worlds and i'm hearing wanting your cake and eating it too which is um possibly what some of you were dealing with with this person but initially not initially this person i feel was very committed very stable very predictable very much on the same page and very much about the union that's what i'm feeling now I want to move across here before I start clarifying, getting into some clarifying cards for your pile one. We've got the Ace of Cups and I do feel that this person has genuine feelings for you and I don't feel that they have gone away, okay, with this Ace of Cups appearing. And I'm also being drawn down to this Two of Wands. If you look at this particular card, and I'm just going to hold it up, in case it's not showing. If you look at this particular card in this deck, this Ace of Wands, we've got the two doors. And I feel that this person is in a position at the moment of deciding which door um, do I take. And, you know, I'm particularly feeling that this Wands, the, the red through here, you know, this is the door maybe of the fun. This is, you know, and for those of you who are familiar with, um, you know, energy work and stuff like that. I noticed that this is on the left. So I'm feeling that, you know, this may be taking that, that sort of left-hand turn and um, going towards something that they hadn't previously thought about doing. So they could even be someone who had always lived their life in a very, um, what is it? It's not sheltered. I mean, it could, it could be sheltered, but I'm feeling more that it's, they've lived their life in more of a predictable pathway and that something's opened up to them that seems exciting and that this is an option for them. But then there's another part of them when they're deeper in thought and they're more connected to their um, their air side, you know, their spiritual, um, you know, what what's their higher vibration here? Do they want to, you know, which side do they want to take? Which door do they want to take? Which pathway? And I'm not saying necessarily that they have to go into this particular connection. Maybe they do. But I'm feeling because it's coming up in your reading that they're thinking heavily about whether they want to re-enter into a connection that they feel quite deeply about, which seems to be this connection, um, or whether they want to continue down this path of living in the moment, doing things that enjoy them that might seem to you like they're a little bit immature even. So we've got here the page of coins. It's in the position of environment. And let me just have a look at that. I will clarify these as I go through. We 
with this page of coins, I feel like with you, they might feel like they've got to start again. They wouldn't be coming through as this king energy, okay? And remember, like I said, it's not gender, but um, the, the energy of the page is very different to the energy of the king. So whereas they may have had your trust as the king, you know, it, that feeling that I said where you felt that they were reliable, stable, predictable, they would be coming back in. If they choose the doorway towards you, okay, if they choose the doorway back towards this connection then they know that they'll be re-entering as a page not re-entering as a king so they'd need to work their way towards um, you seeing them as that king energy again and trusting the stability in this connection and that might even involve for some of you having just a small part in your life rather than having a you know a more major part and they might just have to accept that so that's weighing in I feel to their decision okay We've got the star up here in the position of hopes and fears. I feel like this person is really hoping that you are still thinking of them with that star. That's what I'm getting from it. I'm getting more about that being their, their wish and their wondering if you are still connected to them. And I'm being very drawn to the two uh, vessels that she's holding and the star near her foot. And, you know, remember I talked about that magician and the energy being brought into manifestation. I feel like they're wondering, is is this still possible? Are you still in? Are you still entertaining the thought of them? Is this still something that could happen between the two of you? And the world um, above, you know, they've got options, but I feel like they know that whichever pathway they take, they can't just be in and out, okay? You're not going to accept them just being in and out. It's like, make your decision make it final let's make the um you know you're either going this way or you're going this way which way is it going to be but definitely in terms of whether this person has moved on or not i'm not feeling they've moved on i'm feeling outwardly they look like they've moved on they're probably living a life that looks like they've moved on or showing themselves outwardly as someone who's moved on but they're entertaining the thought of reconnecting with you so i want to pull some cards now on this two of wands and that's, I'm not going to take those because I feel like they just slid. So I just want to, um, Spirit, show us about this Two of Wands page of coins energy, please, for Pile One's person. Okay, yes. So we've got, yep, Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, they know that if they come in with this offer of love, they're going to have to give you something solid. This is about them giving and that's what they retracted. That's what they pulled back on. They pulled back on the giving. So they came in hard and fast, I feel, giving in the beginning and then they pulled back and they thought that they could maybe coast along and that everything would be okay. For some of you, this person felt like they could pull back from the connection and that you would st still be in and they could live this, uh, I don't want to use the word selfish. Some of you do feel it was selfish, I feel, but um, self-focused, let's say, but, but in a way that is really just putting aside people that matter to them to some extent. So I guess it is it is selfish is probably the best word, but they know that they can't come through with that energy. They know that they have to offer you something um, solid. They have to, um, you know, the scales, which, which my eyes are being drawn straight to these scales, this has to be fair. This has to be something that balances it out. And also they may have some making up to do, um, not just in terms, I don't mean just making up. I mean, they may have to make something up to you in terms of letting you down. So that's what this page of coins is about, I feel. They need to prove themselves and they'll need to make up for um, some way that they've let you down. Okay, let's see if they're going to be coming towards you anytime soon here, pile one. But yeah, I'm not feeling this person has moved on. I'm feeling that they are still um, feeling connected to your energy. And then I want to pull on that um, Ace of Cups there. Okay. Okay, they're conflicted about coming towards you. I feel like they're toying with the idea at the moment. Maybe going over what they could say here. Let's just pull some more on that. More about whether they're going to come towards pile one.
more about whether they'll come towards pile one, please, Spirit. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. So, yeah, this is, they're thinking about what they're going to say. They're going over things in their head. The Knight of Swords, you know, is about communication. I feel like at times they want to rush in and contact you, and they may even do that thing, you know, get the message written out, reply retreat the message you know to delete 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 um but that's because they're conflicted and they don't know what to say and also um i am feeling that they don't know how you would receive them so there we go yeah i feel like they do come forward with um a message of love but let me just i just want to pull another one on that actually with that we've got the knight of cups the knight of swords so the message of love there, they may come forward with a message of love, but they may still be defensive. Okay. So we've got death, the five of pentacles and the ace of swords. I feel like this person wants to tell you how much they're missing having you in their life and how much they... Um, if, if, how much it's hurting them being apart from you okay because with this um what's called transformation in this deck but with the death card and the five of pentacles some ending has affected them deeply and i feel that that this is what they want to communicate with you but they're conflicted i feel this could be about pride you know not wanting to say you know this hurts me a lot because they know that it was their actions that brought this about and so um this could be what's holding them back but I do feel like they do. you do get communication because you've got lots of wands here on the table. But let's have a look at, sorry, not wands, swords. So let's have a look at your oracle cards here and see what they want to say. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person eventually comes through with an apology. I feel like they're just very um, cautious about how they say it. It's almost like if they do it and they do it wrong, they don't get another chance, you know, so they need to do it right. And they're still in the decision-making mode. You know, this, this two of wands here with these two doors, this is in the position of self. So they've got options here. They've got um, options about which way they want to go, what's important to them, what do they value, you know, which... Um, pathway do they want to take but I feel emotionally they feel very connected to you and they know that this has been very hurtful for them being apart from you the timing is not right and I have to move it down under this page because I feel like they may have even given off that energy when you're in the connection like the timing was all right here and then suddenly the timing wasn't right but you know, I feel like here they're waiting for the right time to message you. That's what I'm feeling. They're waiting for not just the right time, but also the right words. So it's almost like they're feeling like, I'll know when, you know, it'll happen and I'll just know when to contact Paul A, eh? an offer of commitment. They would have to come in with an offer of commitment, I feel. They would have to come in here with something pretty solid for you because i do feel that you were let down by this person i do feel that that's the main energy coming through and they know that you're not going to um just accept them like i said before coming in with that in and out energy or even with this energy of okay full on the magician because you'll be cautious you need it to build up you need it to start as this page of coins and build up you need to they need to earn your trust back that's what i'm feeling I wish to hear from you so perhaps um for many of you they're hoping that you will contact them first so pile one i don't feel your person is um moved on here even though they may look like they've moved on and i do feel like they're thinking about contacting you that's the message i have through take what resonates with you please hit like and subscribe if it um, made sense for you and thank you so much for watching thank you bye, -bye. Okay, beautiful pile two. We've got the selenite here that you chose. I absolutely love selenite. I just love the um, reflections that you get off it. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's put the oracle cards to the top 
and I'm going to get straight into your cards but if you watch the shuffle you would have seen that a couple of cards flipped and I want to see what comes out here first before I talk about them but um, I think they're quite relevant to the reading so we've got the nine of pentacles the ten of cups yeah the chariot the four of cups the knight of swords the fool the lovers, the king of cups, the queen of swords, the page of wands. Okay, I'm not at all surprised by the cards that are out on the table here. Uh, the cards that I noticed that flipped were the two of cups and the, um, the page of cups. Now, we haven't got either of those on the table, but the energy here is very similar. We've got this ten of cups, we've got this king of cups, and this nine of pentacles. So, and I'm feeling that this is somebody who is very much in their feelings about you, Pile 2, very much feeling emotionally connected. And, um, you know, I was just as I was shuffling, I was being called back to a conversation that I had with a friend not long ago about how uh, this is kind of random, but I feel that it's relevant here, how I love um, being around my dog so much because of the unconditional love that animals give and I know people often talk about that but I'm actually feeling that that's what this person feels with you that they are fully accepted when they're with you and that also that they can be their authentic self when we've got this nine of pentacles here with the ten of cups sitting on the top the nine of pentacles can be a very solitary card it can be about someone who's okay on their own but um you know they've they've well well to do on their own quite often you know they have their needs met but sometimes they're emotionally not fulfilled in this nine of cups and I feel with the ten of cups across it you were like the icing on the cake for this person so this person could have seemed very much like life was going very well for them okay everything was just as they wanted it they were fine without a relationship they may not even have felt that a relationship was something they were too interested in but when you came into their world they recognized that this was next level this was a step up from this um, energy here that they actually had an emotional fulfillment that they didn't even maybe recognize they were missing now, this is when you first met them, I feel, or when the relationship was at its height. And if you didn't actually get involved with them, I feel like this, like if you didn't go down the path of a commitment, I feel this is um, what they were feeling when they were around you and they were seeing potential for this connection. But definitely you being in this person's energy, and I feel for most of you it is a relationship, just because of the energy that I'm feeling coming through here, I feel that they felt a sense of comfort with you and familiarity that is not, you don't always get in a connection. So you could be with someone and feel very um, comfortable with them, you know, and relaxed. But then there's that next level where they feel familiar and it feels like home. And that's what I'm getting through with this. Now, I'm being taken across now to this four of cups. So what happened here? And I feel that what happened was that this person may have um, taken you for granted. Okay. So even though they recognize this amazing feeling that happened with you, they may not have taken a chance with this connection. They may not have opened up fully, allowed themselves to open up fully and take what was in front of them. So they, it's like they knew it was there, but they didn't embrace what was there. They didn't uh, leap at it. They didn't take it. So you can, you can do that even though you enter a relationship. You can enter the connection, but not fully embrace, not fully open up to it, not fully take what's on the table, you know. And let's just have a look here. I feel that they, now that you are missing, they're recognizing that they didn't see what was in front of them at, towards the end. They didn't, they weren't recognizing what they had right in front of them. They were taking you for granted. I am just getting that through as we go. And look, we'll pull clarifiers and get deeper into that. But let's first go through the rest of the cards here. Pile two, I feel like this person does want a second chance with you. You've got the fool here and you've also got the lover's energy. And when I'm talking about these cards in the 
the center and I'm saying that I'm feeling this very loving connected energy I'm also referring to the cards that I'm getting up on the side here because with the lovers energy this is in the position of self so I feel that they feel that you're like their other half you know and that comes back to what I was saying about them being very whole on their own being very competent and able to be on their own and I feel you too I feel this is two people who wanted to be together rather than needed to be together which is a healthy way to be right but still just because it's a want and not a, a need which a need can be sometimes a codependent thing because it's a want I feel that they're really recognizing how much they want it and how much they miss it not being there and uh, with this lover's card I really feel like they are recognizing not just the passion because I'm noticing the volcano in the background, but that there's something higher here between the two of you. There's a higher level connection than what they've experienced in past connections. So I'm definitely not feeling this person has moved on. I'm actually feeling that they still feel very connected with you and that for many of you, Pile 2, I feel that it's reciprocal. I feel that you're sensing it as well. Okay, um, yeah, that you're you're receiving that yeah, and feeling that also towards them. And we've got the King of Cups in the environment. So even if you two had some sort of argument or something like that, I'm feeling that their energy towards you is still very loving. Now, they do want to come towards you, it seems, with this full card here. But I feel like they're worried about how you're going to receive them with the Queen of Swords there. And we've got the Page of Wands up in the top, up the top here. So I feel like they're um, like they're ready, like they have armed what they would like to say to you and how they would like to come in and approach you. But they are perhaps waiting for some reason let's just have a look let's just have a look let's have a look first at over let's go over here to this four of cups this four of cups spirit show us this four of cups energy for pile two what happened with them and their person okay so we've got king of cups that's a repeat of the king of cups here so just so many cups so much watery energy on the table here pile two emotions this is a highly um emotional connection from the looks of it what else here show us somebody didn't accept an offer of love or didn't it wasn't all in that's what i'm feeling here someone wasn't all in and remember roles can be reversed okay and a repeat of this nine of pentacles and the five of cups okay so someone may have felt they were better off on their own or they were in the energy of um you know they've been single for a while and they kind of had things set the way that they were used to doing them and they felt like they didn't need a relationship but they didn't recognize the value sorry they didn't recognize the value that this um, connection was bringing to them and how much it meant to them so it's interesting you've got a repeat there and a repeat here so i feel like you've got your nine of pentacles twice there your king of cups twice here so someone coming forward with that energy of love and offer of love and perhaps another person holding back and saying look i'm okay i don't really need this in my life I've got everything I need here. Focus maybe on very um, much on the material, focused on what they are doing in their everyday life. It could even be focusing on work, things like that, you know, building their home. For some, and this will be a message only for a few, they may even be worried about um, someone coming into their home. And I don't mean like literally coming into the home. I mean, they may be worried about jeopardizing all that they've built over the years by letting someone else into their um into their world so it could be something about that you know they've built some sort of financial stability or home stability there so i am getting that message through but definitely there is love here and i feel that this person is recognizing that they didn't take an opportunity that was there for them that was 
um, providing or, or was a potential for so uh, much depth here, so much depth. That's what I'm feeling. So let's go up to this page of wands and have a look at what's going on with them because I'm feeling like they're getting ready to come forward or they're wanting to come forward. They're wanting to say, let's have a new beginning or for those of you who didn't quite get off the ground, let's make a go of this. Um, even for those that it didn't get off the ground, I feel that like, uh, there was something here that was, you know, you you knew about the, the depth of the connection. Actually, you know what? Uh, that was a six of swords. So I'm just going to take a mental note of that. But I kind of had a whole lot come out there. So I just want to give this a shuffle. The page of swords can be about moving into smoother waters and, um, you know, getting past some sort of rocky, it could even be getting past a rocky beginning or a rocky stage in the connection. But let's just see if it wants to come out again, it will. But I feel like I had a whole lot just sort of <laughs> drop on the table there and I put some back and not others. So let's just, it's just our spirit. I need to just focus on this card. <laughs> I do tend to just go with everything that's out and get it all out and I can be quite quick in the reading so I need to just bring myself back a bit. Okay, page of wands. Okay, so look, ace of cups. Th this reading is just covered in love here and this to me, you know, the um, seven of pentacles can be about a building you know and getting the payoff from our investments but i feel like this person is talking about building something together that's what i'm feeling i'm feeling here because where they have been very focused on building on their own and they've been quite successful in that i feel as have you probably from um the feeling that i'm getting through the cards because this feels like two very uh comfortable people coming together i'm not getting a lot of like needy feeling here but i'm getting a lot of loving feeling coming through here i feel they're saying look we could do this together we could build this together we could make something uh as a couple here yeah that's pretty pretty beautiful there what else spirit and i saw that page of cups peeping out again yeah Okay, so with the world, I feel like this person feels like this could, you could really fit into their world, okay? This could really be a direction that they could go in with you is something that they weren't thinking of before. I feel like this person may have um, resigned themselves to being single or have maybe just had them, their mind in the mind track of, I'm going to be single, I'm going to be self-sufficient. That's the feeling I'm getting. I'm very much a self-sufficient. I'm going to stick with my um, myself, you know, rely on myself, not get myself into a connection because that might not work out. So perhaps they've had some bad experience in the past with relationships where things haven't worked out. But now they're seeing that the two of you could build something together and that you could have this world together, this life together, something that's um, bigger, you know, bigger than what they thought a couplehood could be because perhaps that's not something they were entertaining before. So let's just have a look. Not that everyone has to be in a relationship. I mean, it's it's fine not to, but I feel like they're now seeing that this is something they may be wanting. Making a decision. I regret the way I treated you. I feel like they pushed you away. That's what I'm feeling here. I feel this person pushed you away. Um, it may have felt like rejection, but I'm feeling like even for some of you, a subtle rejection. Like a, look, it's not you, but I just, I have... I'm not going into a relationship. I'm not wanting a relationship. I'm wanting to be single. You know, this is just the pathway that I'm going down. I'm sorry and an offer of commitment. So definitely pile two. I'm feeling that this person is um, seeing that there can be something much bigger here and that they are looking at the fact that they took this offer for granted and that they didn't look at it deeply enough or really consider it, that they may have been a little bit stuck in just um, not being open-minded about the possibilities because they were feeling the connection with you and they are feeling the connection with you. And I feel like they were feeling the connection all along, but they didn't allow themselves to go along with it. So pile two, that's what I'm feeling for this pile. That's what I'm seeing here with these cards. It does look like this person is 
very into you still and I don't feel like they're moving on. So please hit the subscribe and thumbs up if that resonated with you and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Hello, Pearl 3. Let's pop your rock over here or your crystal. Your cards up here and let's get straight into your tarot. Okay, King of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Temperance in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands in reverse. King of Cups, the Tower, Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so straight up here, Pile 3, we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles in the center. And I feel like this is signifying that the connection between you and this person was very stable at one point, very strong. You may have even been building something together or creating something together, whether that signifies just creating the relationship um, or creating something more solid like creating a home together or some sort of life where you were building something together. And that is reinforced here with this Ace of Pentacles. So I feel we've got strong earth energy, but I feel that the two of you were very much people who had strong ideas and shared ideas and visions about what you wanted to manifest um, individually and as a couple. So that's the energy I'm getting coming through initially here. Now, crossing this King of Pentacles, we've got a Page of Cups. And beneath it, we've got this temperance card in reverse. So I'm feeling that whatever happened to, to create this separation between the two of you, pile three, it really rocked this person because temperance is in reverse here and it brought out an emotional side to them, perhaps even a side that you hadn't seen before and a side that they don't express very often because they're coming through here as king of pentacles energy and then we see this page of cups so you might have seen some um, reaction from them from this uh, separation or since you know you last were close with them you may have seen some side to them that seemed even a little bit out of character or just different okay but it's it's expressive and it is part of them but it's part that they usually keep locked down i feel all right, um, before we move over into these cards, I feel like I'm going to pull a few cards just to have a look at what went on here so you know if this is um, your situation and if it's resonating with you. So Spirit, showing me more, please, about the King, the Queen of Pentacles, Temperance in Reverse, what happened, Page of Cups. What happened here? So we've got the Four of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and what else have we got? The Ten of Wands. I'm sort of feeling the table up here. And the Seven of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I'm feeling that one person in the relationship felt that the other person didn't hold up to their end of the um, bargain here for some reason. And didn't appreciate them. I mean, this did come through in one of the other readings. I won't say which one, but if you're drawn to it, then um, you might want to take a look. I can't even recall which one it was, to be honest. But um, this feels a little bit different because this feels that someone feels it feels like someone feels let down, and that once they this person had them, like had them locked down in a relationship, they didn't appreciate them. Okay. And I want to just ask a bit more about what this Seven of Swords is about. And I did just see that Queen of Cups peeping through there. Hopefully not a third person. World in reverse. Something wasn't over. Maybe something wasn't... Um, they were doing some behaviour that you thought was over that...
Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you were involved with someone who you felt um, was had moved past something in their life and yet they hadn't. They were still emotionally connected to it and maybe this was creating some imbalance within the connection and this may have caused you to retreat. Okay, now this, um, you're coming through, I feel, with this queen of pentacles energy here and I feel that this person may have been attached to something or even somebody for some of you. From their past, there's some sort of energy and it didn't allow space for them to really connect with you and with the relationship between the two of you. They were too caught up in whatever this was and it was tying them up at an emotional level. That's that's what I'm feeling here. Now, I actually feel that they were quite um, blindsided or they, they would say they were quite blindsided by the ending between the two of you, okay, or whatever happened between the two of you because we see here the nine of cups with the tower and so I feel they were happy with you and I feel that they were taken uh, very much aback by either you stepping away because of what happened or um, because of the breakdown between the two of you. Now, I will put this out. There will only be for a tiny few people, but for some of you, there may even have been a situation where this person liked to party a little bit um, too hard in a way that was detrimental to them. And they may have had uh, told you that these days were over for them, but they were still doing this this behavior whatever it is for them it would be different i feel for for different people but um this may have led to the tower situation and, and you pulling away from it I'm, I'm getting that for just a few people but for the rest of you i feel there was some sort of attachment to something or something they hadn't gotten over from their past and this impacted the connection between the two of you even though the two of you come across as these very practical, earthy people. Now, in terms of them having moved on, I feel I don't I feel they haven't moved on, but I feel that they're resisting coming forward. There's a desire here with this eight of wands to come forward and speak out, okay? But I feel they're worried that you don't have the um what is it? Won't have the the literal word I'm getting is sympathy. Okay, which is not usually a word I would read, uh, would use in a reading, but maybe because I'm getting that word, you had been very open with them about something that had happened in the past, like very understanding about something that had happened in the past, and maybe you've reached the end of your limit and they're feeling like they want to come in and give this another go, but you might not be open to it. But with the Eight of Wands, that can be about rushing in without thinking things through and it's like saying something or contacting someone. So I feel the impulse is there, but I'm also getting with this Ace of Wands in reverse that they are holding back and resisting that urge. So some of them may have buckled and you might have had these little breakthrough messages from them. I don't feel like it would have been anything too significant. Okay, let's take a look. Are they going to come towards you? So you, you're still um, someone that they're thinking about for sure. But I just, okay, let's just take a look at what their feelings are towards you at the moment. Before we ask what they're going to do, what are their feelings? Okay, so we've got the five of pentacles. What else, spirit? About five threes. Okay. All right, so we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So they feel like they're on the outer with you and that you've shut them out. Okay, so that, I feel like that's the story that they would be giving here. And I did get a little bit of a feeling before that this person could be putting the blame on you. That's the feeling I was getting. And I, I'm going to actually grab another deck because I want to... I'm just feeling drawn to get this deck here for a moment. I'm getting a little bit of a feeling that they may have a little bit of resentment because this looks like a pattern that might have happened with some of them in their life. We've got the Six of Cups and the Four of Swords and it feels like they are taking it a little bit as a punishment or a timeout and something that has happened in their life. Well, this has happened to me before, but instead of like looking at what the behaviour is or looking at why this has happened, Okay, so it's a little bit of feeling sorry for me, a little bit of resentful, like I'm hard done by. That's the feeling I'm getting coming through. 
Is that correct, Spirit, what I'm feeling there? Can you give us some cards just to tell us a bit more about this feeling? Okay. All right. So we've got the Ace of Wands there upright. Yep. So I feel like they... Um, this is their initial thought. This is what they jump to. They jump they jump to this thought that it's like a bit of feels like a bit of a victim feeling. That's what it is. That's what I'm feeling there. But um, that may be a habit to jump into that rather than be self-reflective. Because I'm not getting a lot of self-reflection here, Pile 3. I've got to say with this person, I'm not getting a lot of that. So, but they are thinking about you. Eight of Pentacles. Eight again of cups, seven of pentacles, and waiting. This person has work. I feel that they, um, I feel like they want to prove themselves, like they want to do some work on themselves or just focus. They know they need to focus on themselves, okay? And when I say there's not a lot of self reflection, I feel that deep down they know that they've got some work to do, okay? And what is this about? This is, you know where I said this is like feels a bit victimy. It also feels a little bit self sabotaging to me. It's almost like, well, later on, I'll wait, I'll wait. I've got this to do first. I've got that to do first. Yet they have this deep connection, and they came across as so solid and stable up here in this connection with you. So I feel like they know that they would like the part of them would like this plan for this solid, stable future, and they were able to do that. But they've gone into this emotional space or gone back to some sort of bad habit here that's what it's feeling like to me and whilst you are on their mind here pile three i feel that their primary focus is um that they're thinking along the lines of uh this always happens to me or this this is what uh i just don't feel it's self-reflective okay so yeah, this is this is what I'm picking up with them. So I feel like even though they want to come forward to you, I feel that what you get from them may not be enough and you may not accept it. So I do feel like you'll hear from them in bits and pieces and in time. But will it be, will they be past this, whatever this is, whatever this past thing is that they've been repeating, this pattern, will they be through that pattern? Because that's what you want to know. That's what you want to know. You want to know, are you past this pattern? Are you ready to... Um, do this work and not just wait forever and make people wait on your time. Are you prepared to put the work in now? How much do you want this relationship? How much do you want this connection? Are you going to look at why this pattern repeats or are you just going to fall back into this mode of, you know, feeling like you're on the outer and not looking at why this is happening? So, yes, I would expect that you will likely hear from them but maybe not substantial enough for you to... Um, want to engage because I really feel with you pile three that you want something more solid and it was that aspect of them that they showed to you that was very appealing to you and so this um new way of uh or not new way of thinking because it is a part of them but this thing whatever it is that they've gone back into this pattern this habit or whatever it is is not what's appealing to you a, a habit of behavior i feel okay so pile three i hope that that is helpful and resonated for those it's meant for and please hit the um, like and subscribe if it was sorry pile three i nearly wrapped up without doing the oracle cards <laughs> let's have a look okay so i'm suffering too so isn't that very um fitting to what we were seeing here so i feel like it, they're very much um, self-focused at the moment and just sort of stuck in that feeling of how much things are hurtful but not recognizing that it's also hurtful to other people okay true love so yeah the feelings are there i feel like they recognize that my family comes between us so whatever this is that they go back to it could be a person it could be a family it could be an ex it could be um you know bad behaviors whatever but something's coming between you i feel here and separation and i feel with this separation card that this is saying that this is going to be your call okay i feel that i feel very much that you're the one who will get to decide whether this comes back together or not because you'll be deciding whether you feel that they're in the right place and whether they're addressing whatever these issues are okay thank you pile three thank you very much Bye bye